it's the time of the day that I have to start thinking about undoing my makeup. I have done it so well and I am terribly, terribly upset about having to take it off. But it has to be done, so I'm thinking we'll do a skincare routine together today. I was really thinking of also doing a day in my life, <laughs> but like an unrealistic one, what I wish for, and then maybe on another day I'll do exactly what a day in my life is like. That would be fun, I think, so that everybody can see the real, real day in my life. I'm exhausted. I think I've got a little bit of hay fever. I've just taken some Puritan. Hopefully that will sort that out and I can speak properly. Oh, my lipstick's still on. I've had this all day. That's really good. Quite impressed with that. I'll show you what I used. Let me show you now. <laughs> it's these usual culprits that I used on my lips today. This one is Ever Liquid Lipstick. It's amazing. And I've used it with the NYX lip pencil in cocoa. I love it. I'm going to be recommending it to every dark skinned girl. This one actually is really good for all skin tones. Let me just show you the color of it. You might be scared when you first see it. But actually, it's not as bad as you might think. There it is. And it goes on my lips like that. So you see, initially, you might be a little scared of it, but it's really nothing to be scared of. And then, You keep doing that until it's well blended. And the lip is perfection. Good morning. It's Wednesday today, the 22nd of June, and I'm going to be cleaning first and then what I'm going to do straight away is apply some hair mask in my hair because I'm using this particular one from Garnier so I'm just going to apply some hair mask in my hair put a plastic cover on it because it's beautiful nice and sunny outside I'm going to um, sit in the Sun let it marinate for a bit and then have a hair wash day with you guys today and hopefully I'll be looking a little bit more representable
So I make sure that I apply this hair mask all over my dry hair, saturating the hair with the mask. I place a plastic cap, cap on top and I let it sit for roughly about 30 minutes. Depending on how much time I have, sometimes I make it stay in for a bit longer. And while I wait for my hair to marinate, I call it marinating, I do some housework and other things that I need to do. And then I will straight away go and wash my hair. I'm just going to use the Garnier Solid Shampoo to wash off this mask and you will see what I'll do the rest of the time after that. So I recently got this from Garnier and it's a um, no rinse conditioner. So I'm just going to apply it all over my hair and I'm going to blow dry it very quickly. And um, yeah, I'll show you the other products that I'm going to put after I've used the conditioner. But let me first just apply, just apply a small amount. I think I need a little bit more. Okay, I think I'm good to go. Let me just show you what else I'm going to add on top of this. So the first thing I'm going to use is this Lipid Boost from System Professionals and it's been really good for my hair. Let's make sure that I spritz it everywhere. A generous amount and then I mix it all up. After that's done, I will use a little bit of the Reconstructive Elixir. My hands are slippery, oh my goodness. Just a little amount, apply it all over my hand. And if I need some, I'll also apply it after I've done the blow drying. Apply a bit more. Okay. 
ready for a good blow dry. <coughs> And the first thing that I do is detangle my hair with an afro comb and if it has any knots I start from the end of the hair working my way up like that. I think it's going back to its natural 4C hair type I'm not sure because it is getting a little bit kinkier and it is shrinking a lot more which I'm quite happy about because I thought it wasn't going to revert back but it seems to be reverting back after I did a few silk presses and I recently did this a big chop by myself at home and I overdid it but that's okay I will go to the salon and have it trimmed again I'm more to healthy hair than I am up to long hair so I need it to be healthy first and then length later so from here I now just divide it into sections and then start to blow dry and I use an afro attachment as well on my blow dryer so that really helps and makes the job really easy <coughs> and as you can see it's a, this, a, a good amount of breakage but not much nothing unusual is the kind of breakage you'd expect Other thing that I forgot to tell you is I only use it on very medium heat so I use it on there will be two lights here which I'll show you as soon as I start so as you can see two lights over there and those are the old that's the only setting I use
so that's the blow dry done but because I need it to be slightly bit more oilier I'm just going to add that elixir all over it again just to have it look a little a little bit more shiny especially towards the end but because I have dry hair very dry hair doesn't matter if I really start from the roots as well so that's it <laughs> that's today's hair care routine very simple and I am trying any good products that I see on the market because I'm not worried about um, anything of sorts as in I'm not worried about is this product for black hair or is it for Caucasian hair I'm just using any good products with good reviews and see how I go and hopefully I'll do a full blog post on all the products I've used and the ones that I think are really good because I genuinely don't believe we have the best products for African hair yet on the market I feel like hair is hair and depending on the texture and how your hair behaves your routine can be tailored with things already on the market for your particular hair so let's see how I go with this and I will let you know no makeup today is too hot for all that but I just wanted to quickly talk to you about the stars of today's show this one is um, SPF 50 is from Vichy and it's an oil I'm not sure if you can call it an oil because it doesn't damage your clothes per se so you spray it it's almost like a water oil so what I did was I use this all around my body but on my drier patches I put some hyaluronic acid first so let me bring this close to you so you can see so that's what I sprayed from neck down all over my body and honestly my my legs are still glistening I'm going to show you in a minute but in areas that I really have dry skin like this part of my foot here what I did was I used some hyaluronic acid first and then I used this on top because it's really hot out here so let me just show you what I did And it makes everything really nice and shiny and honestly the best legs ever apparently it makes you develop a tan not that I need one but if it does that's a bonus so those are the two products that I wanted to tell you about and the hyaluronic acid that I used was hyaluronic alloy from Garnier and I swear by everything Garnier if you're on a budget I will do a separate dedicated Garnier skincare routine of all you need and this is what I used and the other thing also that I forgot to mention uh, I show you actually because I did mention it and I forgot to show you where these here I'm going to get the ones that match with what I'm wearing these are kind of like her wrist wristbands that what you call them for your skincare so you know usually when you're doing your skincare water and product and makeup sometimes runs down so you can just wear these like this and you can do your skincare and everything will be caught in here and won't have to go to your clothes and stuff so they're really nice and handy and one of those things that I didn't know I needed until I got them and I got them in four I'll link them in the description box below while I'm talking about products let me quickly do um empties video as well and a mini review because well because I, I I I'm going to throw them away and I might as well do it now before I throw the products away let me grab everything I want to talk about I've got them here so the first things first and really I'm trying to see if this is really empty when I was squeezing it nothing was coming out I feel like there's still something in here but it's almost done anyway is this a uh, medic age crystal retinol um, this has been really good to me but to be honest with you because it's so hyped on the internet and I've seen it circulating on Instagram and everything I really expected so much from this almost to a point I was kind of disappointed so it's not bad 
but it's not what I expected. I expected this to be on par with products like Sandy Riley because Sandy Riley is a natural skincare brand. This is more of your medical skincare grades and I expected so much more from this and I was a bit disappointed so you can skip and get something else. I have loads of other retinol products that I would rec recommend in comparison to this one here. Mm -hmm. Uh, but uh, what I really swore by was this one. So let me tell you what happened. Oh, my battery is going to run out. I'll try to speak very quickly. So what happened with this one was I used it first time and I didn't like it. I thought, hmm, it's leaving my hair a little hard. So what I didn't realize was this is a protein treatment. So in this protein treatment, you have to use it when your hair needs protein. So once a month when I used it, when my hair needed the protein, it was a game changer. So I would say this is not something that you use every single uh, week. This is something you use once a month in combination to whatever you already use for your hair. Oh, I'm so annoyed and so sad that I've run out because this was so, so, so good. Olaplex number three. It's a cult favorite, it really does work, but the only thing I need to warn you about, I think it does change the texture of your hair. So if you like your 4C Kelly hair, maybe skip and find an alternative to this because alternatives are definitely out there. Otherwise, it does what it says and it softens your hair. So if you want your hair to be slightly bit more manageable, then definitely try Olaplex number three bath product this is a molten and brown london it's a bath oil this is luxurious when you go to all the big london hotels you will find this it's a nice heavy bottle it's just nice to have in your bathroom the scent is amazing it will fill the whole bathroom and beyond when you use it molten brown everything yes 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 and finally i have this banana food it's a hair mask you can use it as a mask, you can use it as a conditioner, and you can use it as a leave-in hair uh, conditioner as well. So perfect and does the job. It's Yeah, actually you can scream and shout about this because it's 98% 90 natural. It does the job. It works on afro hair like mine. And yeah, it's really underrated and I think everybody should definitely try this as is. Don't add oils. I've seen people add oils or all that sh shenanigans. In my, <coughs> in my opinion, in my humble opinion, I don't feel like it needs any of that. Use it as, is, as the instructions say and it's perfect. So that's it. My battery is going to run out, so I'm going to stop here. If this is a vlog, it will probably continue. If it's not, maybe we'll stop here and I will see you again next week. I'm trying to upload again two days a week. I've been working out which is best, but I think I'll still stick to the Tuesday and Wednesday, see how that goes.